Hi, in this video we will be talking about how do we subtract two decimals. This video is in the series of the videos of decimals where we are talking about what is decimal, decimal number representation on a number line, how do we add decimals and converting fractions to decimals and vice versa. So this is the next video where we will be talking about how do we subtract decimals. So let's take the first example. We have to subtract 1.32 from 2.58. We have to subtract 1.32 from 2.58. So we will write 2.58 first. So here 2 will come in the 1's place. 5 will come in the 1 tenths place and 8 will come in the 100th place. The next number is 1.32. 1 will come in the 1's place, 3 will come in the 1 tenths place and 2 will come in the 100th place. If anybody is not clear how do I get this, I would strongly recommend him or her to visit the previous videos in the same playlist where we have explained how do we write a decimal into its place value system. Now after uh, converting them into place value system, let us try and find out by the subtraction. This is the same as our whole number subtraction. There is only a small addition to it. So let's subtract it. What do we do for the subtraction? We start from the rightmost column that is the sm smallest value. So here I get 8 minus 2, 6. 5 minus 3, 2 and 2 minus 1, 1. So now the, I got a number 1, 2, 6. Where, but where should I place the decimal value? The decimal value should be placed seeing to what, where, thinking to where it is in the subtractor and the subtractor. So let's see where is this. It is here in 2. That is a 100th place and after 1 tenth place. So here it will be from 100th place and 1 tenth place and then we place the decimal. So this is the value 1.26. So now there would be a question that how do I have, if I have a number like this and a number like this, what should I do? Where should I place my decimal value? For this, let's first try and subtract this and get the answer. For this subtraction, it's like same as the whole number as I said to you. If I write here a 0, this number don't change. So 8 minus 0 remains 8. 5 minus 2 remains 3. I have to borrow here as it is 0. So this becomes 10. 10 minus 3 gives me 7. As I have borrowed from 2, this is only having 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, if anybody has a confusion, how I can write 32 as 320 or 1.32 as 1.320, please refer the previous videos already explained in that. So now you have a number 0.738. I have already placed a decimal here. Why? Because I have gone from 100th place, one uh, sorry, 1000th place, 100th place, and 1 tenth place. So this gives me number 0.738. So I shift here also in the same manner 1000, 100 and 110. So you take from here to here. Okay. So here that is 1, 2 and 3 columns from the right way, the rightmost we are shifting. Same way here also 1, 2 and 3 rightmost column we are shifting and we are placing the decimal value here as we are shifting 1 and 2 to place the decimal value. 2.58 here we are shifting 1 and 2 to place the decimal value let's try and do one more example subtract 1.74 from 3.5 so let me try the no write the number 3.5 3.5 i can write as 3.50 also and now here i am writing the next number 1.74 now what i am supposed to do is i am supposed to minus 1.74 from 3.5 for that, I will start from the rightmost column. As it is 0, I will borrow from here. It gives me 4 here and 10 here. So 10 minus 4 gives me 6. I am again left with 4. 
so I have to again borrow from here it gives me 2 here and a 14 here 14 minus 7 is 7 so I'm left with 2 here 2 minus 1 is 1 so here it gives me the answer 176 as it is having 100 and 110 and then the 0 I'll shift 100 110 and then the decimal point so this is my answer 1.76 if I subtract 1.74 from 3.5 let us go to the next problem okay before that we summarize it to summarize it is the same way as we subtract whole numbers as we already discussed there is no new signs in it we are just subtracting as we subtract the whole numbers we start from the smallest value column on the rightmost side for subtracting and we borrow from the next left column if it is required then we place the decimal point at the place value where it was from the right in the numbers on which subtraction was performed so we check is it uh, shifting two place value or it's shifting three place value depending upon that one two or three whatever whatever is there in the in the question same way we performed it in the answer okay let's now take the next one that is a problem a simple problem where we are subtract we are uh, we are doing a subtraction problem which can come in some statement so here the statement is we are asked that there is a guy called Raju who bought a book for rupees 35.65 he gave rupees 50 to the shopkeeper so how much money did he get back from the shopkeeper so now you already have the data what is the data here the data one is Raju bought a book for rupees 35.65 and what is the next data data number two he gave rupees 50 to the shopkeeper now so how much money he should get back that's the question so let's take shopkeeper got 50 rupees and Raju had bought a book of 35.65 so we try and minus that let's not forget always to put the units so 0 minus 5 I have to borrow from here but this guy also don't have anything so let's borrow from here this guy also has nothing let's borrow from here 4 so this guy now has 10 as this guy has to give this guy this guy is left out with 9 so this guy now has 10 again 9 so this guy now has a 10 so 10 minus 5 will give me 5 9 minus 6 will give me 3 9 minus 5 will give me 4 and 4 minus 3 will give me 1 so that means the left amount or the shopkeeper will give back 14.65 rupees to Raju as we have been asked the subtraction problem in a statement we have to answer in a statement so the answer would be shopkeeper gives back 14.35 rupees so you can even even write that you can even write that that Raju got back uh, from the shopkeeper 14 rupees 14.35 rupees but the main point here is as we are asked to write like uh, as we are asked in a statement the subtraction problem we have to answer it in a statement now let's go to the next one Tina had 20 meter 5 centimeter long cloth she cut 4 meter 50 centimeter length of cloth from this for making a curtain how much cloth is left out what is the first data here the first data here is Tina had a 20 meter 5 centimeter long cloth She cuts 4 meter 50 centimeter length of a cloth.
for this for making a curtain how much cloth is left out with her so let's write the first one first data is 20 meter 5 cm the second one 4 meter 50 cm how do i convert this this will become 20.5 20.05 meter and this becomes 4.5 meter let's try and solve this so 20.05 meter i have to subtract 4.50 meter from it if you have any conversion problem how do i convert it this into decimal 20.05 i have already explained the same into the previous video in the same playlist and i would request you or recommend you to please go through it before we actually solve this problem so 20.05 meter minus 4.50 meter I would be having 5 minus 0 will give me 5. I am again having a 10 here. I try to borrow from here. This is also 0. So I try and borrow from here. This gives me 10 over here as it has to give 1 to it. This, this becomes with 9. And this gives me 10. So 10 minus 5 will give me 5. 9 minus 4 will give me again 5. And 1 as this will be 0 here. So this gives me 15.55 meter will be left out. So Tina is left out or the cloth left out with Tina. You can write here the statement. The cloth left out with Tina is 15 point 15 55 meter now you can even say that this 15.55 you have to again convert back to meters and centimeter so in that case you can say that it is 15 meter 55 centimeter is the cloth left out with Tina so with this we complete the subtraction decimals uh, uh, decimals uh, subtraction problems thank you